I got to give a lot of credit to Broadneck. I um, mean, we watched a considerable amount of tape on them. You know, we didn't remember watching uh, them hitting that many threes and that many free throws and cutting the way they do and executing on offense. Um, so I mean, I got I, I, they really came to play, and um, and I think this uh, it was definitely a different experience and it's something that that our program's going to very much value. <coughs> Profit off of in the future. How was the experience different than what you kind of anticipated? Hmm. I don't know. I guess uh, it's tough to put in words since uh, we didn't know what that difference really is. I mean, but how did it meet kind of your expectations? Um, I don't know. I, have to, I think I really have to think about that atmosphere. a lot more. But go ahead. Atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. How did the atmosphere like compare to what you were expecting? Definitely like perception of the court a lot bigger. You were into that obviously. And obviously the pitch shots and then also just how big the stadium was before you see that here. Yeah, I think just the environment of like, being a final four game, everything bringing the intensity more than they have the whole season. So we were uh we, we wanted three iron intensity and they brought theirs and we give them a lot of credit for that. And so I think the court, the environment, all that aside, it was about intensity and they, uh, yeah, I guess brought them credit for that. Well, it seems to be getting a little frustrated in spots out there tonight. What was kind of going through your mind? What do you mean by that? <laughs> it just seemed to be getting really, oh, yeah. really kind of worked up in a couple couple instances. I mean, I think that's just who I am. Yeah. I'm emotional in nature out of here. I think this week was just also, the, I think the past three days since last Saturday was something that we were, we really didn't uh, see coming as far as the attention and uh, the school, our school was unbelievable in their support. And uh, I, yeah, our community came together, you know, I've been part of this community for a very long time, you know, since my early, early days. And, uh, and I, I was amazed. At, at how much our community came to support us, and um, and that attention, and uh, it was just a very different week, and, and I think that was something that I could have, you know, I don't know if I would have warned if, if that would have been different, but it was not that they got distracted. You're saying like that's a bad thing or a good thing? Uh, no, it was just different. It was it, it was it was a little surreal, and uh, it was just different. And it was just the past, especially the past three days at school. I mean, it's everywhere you turn. It's, it's people just supporting us, and, and it's like every class is talking about it, and it's every announcement, and it's and it was it was great, you know. But we didn't see that coming. It's just like did you feel I, more pressure because of that? No, no, because everyone's so gracious at our school. But um, I think that we're I, really, you know, for the most part, we're a very modest group, and to get that attention, you know, I, I think it was a little bit shocking. Yeah. Well, I mean, for any of the players, I mean, the school has been waiting for so long just to be in a regional sure. championship. I mean, just your overall feelings to just get to this point, like, what was the thoughts even after the post game? Were you, were you guys emotionally upset, or were you just, you know, at least we made it here versus not get here at all? Well, you never want to go with that mindset that, oh, we made it here, we're done now. But you always want to keep going as far as you can go. But, Obviously, you never plan on losing. You don't want to try and plan on losing. So, we just try not to keep our heads down and keep them up. You know, know that we got here. <coughs> no. We're all grateful to be here. Yeah. We want as much as we can this year. And uh, our school community, like uh, Coach said, has been just embraced the team so much. And uh, it's really been 
an amazing experience bringing, letting basketball bring the school together and uh, creating this environment where I think now the whole school wants to win more. So we, we're, uh, it hurts to lose. And of course in the locker room, we, uh, we have to keep our heads up and think about a positive future. But uh, there were positive things. This whole season was a positive um, step, forward. step forward for our program and school. Sitting down with two seniors and two sophomores, what do you think that says about the program, or, or like where the program growing and where? You know, could be? Yeah, we have we have a lot of high hopes for the future, and it's a it's a shame to talk about that now because I mean these guys have contributed so much, and uh, that was a big part of what we talked about in the locker room after was uh, just so even going back to the alumni in the past several years, and then and these guys that um, you know, Miles. Mile, and just the improvement that they've made, it's a model for our younger guys. You know, Miles played sophomore year varsity. He didn't really get much playing time. And, uh, you know, I don't think anybody really, except for Miles, Miles knew he was going to be at the place where he is right now, but you know, no one else really thought that. And I think a lot of our guys saw that happening. A lot of people know Miles, you know, for a while. And then, and he was just, he and the other seniors, just all the improvement they've made. And then the, and then the camaraderie that they, Fostered was uh, tremendous. It was, uh, it was it was really unlike anything I've seen. So it's a huge contribution on their part. What does it personally mean for you? I know we've talked yeah. a fair amount about the fact that you, as a player, been so so close so many times. So yeah, I, I think one of the biggest reasons why I'm coaching is because we lost our regional championship my junior and senior year, and I felt like I could have made more contributions, and that's like one of my like you know personal you know psychological motivations for for wanting to coach and and I felt like I owed this to the community and so it, it, this was I'm, I'm I wish it would have happened a couple of years ago and then maybe we could have benefited off of that and this team could have profited more but um but yeah it was it, it was always the big goal and uh, you know it's, it's disappointing because I, I was telling them too I, I know I know people have passed away who wanted to see this you know been so long that like you know I wish I would have uh, they could have seen it. Ryan talk to me about kind of your your range of emotions last week you hit the buzzer beater against Gaithersburg and obviously your season ends in a way you wouldn't want it to end just talk kind of about the highs and lows in your last week. I mean, honestly I think I got too happy about the buzzer beater I played like shit since then. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything since then, so I gotta be able to do back to back to do that. So I had 20 points, now I have nine points. I had zero assists to the worst stat after the goal. So, so yeah, I gotta improve on that. Being consistent. Any other questions, guys? Okay, thank you. Thank you.